Now, back to Coastal Living on KZTV. Welcome back, everyone. Now it's time for the Coastal Living Daily Challenge. What do you have for us today, Jocelyn? All right, Clarissa. Well, just earlier in the show, we were talking about clearing the clutter and donating clothes. Now, we also mentioned that we want to make this show all about giving back to the community. So I want to challenge all of you to give back to our wonderful community in so many different ways, which you can with monetary donations by giving money to families in need, or you can simply donate your clothes, just like we were talking about. And there's so many other ways to donate. What do you think, Clarissa? I love it. And you know, they've made donating very, very convenient because there's those little houses that you see, I say house, that looks like a little playhouse. Um, in different parking lots in front of businesses, there's the Purple Door, there's the Ronald McDonald House, there's Goodwill, Salvation Army. So many ways that you can literally load up all the stuff you cleaned out from your closet, hey, and just literally toss it into that and know that it's going to a great cause. And keep in mind too, when you are donating, if it's something that you, that is so worn that you wouldn't even keep, that's not necessarily something you want to donate. You want to make sure they're still in a nice quality, something that you wouldn't feel ashamed to hand directly to that person and say, hey, this is for you. So keep that in mind when you are donating. Nobody wants to eat expired canned food. Nobody wants to wear a shirt that is completely ripped up unless you bought it that way. <laughs> so yes. I think there are a few things to keep in mind. And even donating blood is on the cards. You could do that too. So there exactly, exactly. I think we're on a roll that. today with all these topics. We talked about donating blood, donating clothes, monetary donations, like I said, and it just makes you feel so much better at the end of the day because of being the selfless person that you are here in our community it'll definitely make a difference it really does and even then you know maybe you don't have the resources maybe you're spick and span like jocelyn is although you did still find things to give away but um you know even if you are super neat and you're really good about getting rid of things that you don't need anymore a monetary donation a lot of people are unemployed right now there's people in the restaurant industry business owners that some people's businesses are going under and a donation of a hundred dollars might help them get one month farther in their business to help get through the COVID-19 situation. So keep that in mind. Sometimes it's even the smallest little things that will help people get through these difficult times. You can donate an act of service to your neighbor, to your church, to whoever. So keep those things in mind. It's something super, super small to something super great. Whatever you're capable of, it doesn't go unnoticed. And it is so important for us to show how much we care about our community by giving back. So the challenge of the day is to donate. And if you do so, we want to see it, right? That's right. We always encourage you to share your photos, videos um, with us on our Facebook page, Coastal Living TV. So be sure to do that. Be sure Absolutely. to do that today, especially. Definitely. All right. Speaking of giving back, this is a really cute idea, fun activity to do with the kids that will brighten anyone's day. Plus, we get to revisit another one of your favorite guests on our show, Kendall and I had a little powwow before the social distancing, before the stay at home order. So keep that in mind when watching the video because we were with each other, but we came up with a really cute kids corner. It's a fun way to spend time with your children or if you're just creative and like to try fun things. Um, and it's an easy way to come up with a piece of art or something thoughtful to donate and lift someone's spirits. Check it out. We find kids corner to try from the comfort of your own home with stuff that you probably already have lying around. Some bubbles, which we encourage you to get out and play with, but we're gonna give you a new way to use them. I have some acrylic paints here. You can try watercolors as well, but it seems as though we'll get a better color payoff with acrylic paint. And here you're looking at uh, sort of a finished product. We're making like these watercolor looking bubbles on a card, and it's a perfect card to go old school and maybe write like a sweet letter to mail to someone you love or even send to someone like at a senior living community. That's right. Yeah, to let them know that you're thinking of them. So, this is actually really fun. As you can see, Kendall and I, Kendall and I have made a little bit of a mess already. Me a bit. Yeah. So, we have these little cups here, and what we did is we took um, probably about like 90% bubbles and a little dash of water just to make just it. Just a dash. If you yep. put oh, too much water, it won't work. Yeah, you're not going to get the bubbles if you put too much water. Then we put a little bit of each of these paints in here and stirred them vigorously. And this is every kid's dream because how many times have you told your kid at the restaurant to stop blowing bubbles in their drink? Now they get to do it with permission. Pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so to get started, uh, you know, we're very germ conscious right now. I'll be blowing the bubbles and Kendall will show you guys how to get the bubbles 
onto your paper. So here, um, you can use construction paper, but this is a little bit thicker. It's kind of like um, almost watercolor paper, craft paper. So I got this out of a, a binder that I had here at the house. So let's get started. You want to start with blue? Okay. So you just blow a big bubble like this. And Kendall is just going to capture some of those bubbles. Just like that. How cute. Okay, let's see. There we go. So this you can layer as many times as you want. It's fun for the paint to drip. It looks really cool. I mean, this is also the beginning of just like any type of an art project. You can put your name on it and put it in your bedroom. So let's get a little more creative. Let's do more colors. Blue. Yeah. So I think because we use acrylic paint, we're getting a much better color payoff versus watercolor, but you're still gonna make it look really cool regardless. Mm -hmm. Let's get some more pink in there. Very cool. Ooh, that one was a good one. That was like very good. All right. Good thing. Nice. And so, this works out really well. So then you just want to let the bubbles sit, and at the end you'll end up with those little ring shapes. The longer they sit, then you can put it out in the sun to dry if you'd like, or just leave it out under a fan, give it some time, and then I grab my son's little crayon marker here, and then once it's dry, you can put a sweet message, like thinking of you, or you know something nice to grandma and grandpa, or maybe for a friend that they can't hang out with because of the situation we're in. So um, yeah, something fun where you can leave it at their doorstep, or send it through the mail, and it's just a fun way to interact with each other. Get your hands dirty, make a little mess, but have fun from the comfort of your own home. So that's our tip corner. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know if you want to see anything else. We'll try it out. All right, guys. See you later. Bye. As you can see, Kendall and I had a ton of fun making those. So naturally, you're going to have a good time at home. Give it a shot and let us know if you tried. We had a really great show today, everyone. Thank you so much to Ashley Ramirez from the Coastal Bend Blood Center. And we just really appreciate everybody with us and helping us get this information out to the community. Absolutely. And we promised you we would make this show all about giving back to the community. So don't forget to do your daily challenge and share it with us on our social media. Keep in mind by donating and follow us on Coastal Living TV, like our page and share your photos. Absolutely. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram. So show us some love. One more time, I have to wish a big, big happy birthday to my little sugar bumpkins. Happy birthday, Brayden. One day we're going to watch this video and you're going to be so embarrassed. But I love you. Happy birthday. <laughs> Y'all have a wonderful day. We'll see you again tomorrow for our big Friday show. We have all your favorites, your beach report, your coastal living fishing line, and some good old live music. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you for watching Coastal Living on KZTV. To see more, visit CoastalLivingTV.com.